hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel this video is part of our tutorial series on interview question uh, for c++ and it's a beginner level series so our today's topic is difference between while loop and do while loop while loop is also termed as entry control loop do a loop is termed as exit control loop so first one is entry control loop and second one is exit control loop if the condition is not satisfied the statements inside loop will not execute even if the condition is not satisfied the statements in the loop will execute for at least one time so it is best if you want to display a menu or something as you will use the uh, do while loop so because if uh, whether condition is true or not it will execute at least one time now we will th these were some pretty basic uh, intro to these two loops now we will see them in this detail first we will see while loop a while loop is control flow statement that allows code to execute repeatedly based on the given boolean condition the while loop can be thought of as repeating if statement so the basic sentence of this while loop is obviously first we have this keyword while then we have our statement uh, uh, sorry then we have our condition boolean condition then inside this the body of this while loop we have our loop statement now fl flow chart of this while loop will be something like that start then we have our condition check if the condition is true then we will execute the statement and then again the loop will start uh, and if the condition is false then we will exit the program now uh, i will show you an uh, code example of this i have already typed the basic templates so for the demonstration of uh, while loop i will first <laughs> make a variable of integer type and give it value of let's say 5 then i will write my while loop keyword while then we have our condition let's say i is less than 10 I mean until i is less than 10 the uh, loop will be running so let's we see out i okay and I'll let's run this loop I have done uh, the pretty common mistake uh, that's I do not define the condition so you can see it is looping for infinite time now to stop this we have to define our condition uh, sorry increment which will be I plus plus now let's run this again it's still that file was not saved let's run this again yeah so you can see so what's happened here is the initial value of uh, our variable was 5 then we make a while loop and put a condition 
here it is our condition that until the i is less than 10 you should execute the loop so here is our increment or decrement and next we have our statement so first uh, i was equal to here I will show you this. So initially I was equal to 5. After the first iteration I become seven, I become 6. So it print out 6 and then it goes back to this while loop and check the condition i is 6 which is less than 10. So it will again execute the loop now I will become 7 then it will print this 7 like this then it will, it, it, it will go back to while to check the condition condition is still false uh, sorry condition is still true then it goes back to this increment or decrement and now I is equal to 8 then this print out this 8 again go condition is true then it again increment our i now it's become 9 and then it's print it out and again it's go to 10 and after that the uh, loop is terminated was because the condition is false so that's how our while loop works now we will see do while loop do while loop is almost similar to our while loop with only one difference that it check for the condition after executing the statement and therefore is an example of exit control loop its syntax will be uh, our first keyword will be do here is our keyword then we have uh, body of do while then we have our statement and then we have the condition so its flowchart will be start then it will execute the statement then it will check the condition so if the condition is true then it will again go to the statement execute the statement and check the condition now if the condition is false then it will end the execution of our two while loop now again we will see the example of uh, do while loop for that I will go to my editor here let's say we have an integer which is equal to again 5 then we will de uh, define our do while loop which is do keyword uh, sorry. Yes. then we have our while statement now here we will display our integer then we will define our condition which is let's say until i is less than 10 Now let's run this program. Uh, sorry, 
we have to also add the increment for the increment statement let's run this so you can see it has printed 6 7 8 9 and 10 again So here's our code example. Now we will see some documentation and basic difference table. Condition is checked first, then statement is executed that we have seen. And in case of do while statement is executed at least once, therefore condition is checked. it might occur statement or statements is executed zero times if condition is false at least once the statement is executed in case of do while uh, no semicolon at the end of while condition well we have to define a semicolon at the end of do while condition if there is a single statement bracket are not required in case of while loop bracket are always required in case of two while loop so if there is a single statement then bracket does not require but here bracket is always required now variable in condition is initialized before the execution of loop variable to be initialized before or within the loop while loop is entry control loop and do while loop is exit control loop now we will see our next question which is difference between prefix and postfix it simply means putting the operator before the operand like uh, this if we say plus plus one it is prefix uh, and in case of postfix it simply means putting the operator after the operands like we do one plus plus or like we just did here i plus plus so it is also an example of postfix it executes itself before the semicolon on the other hand postfix fix executes itself after the semicolon associative of prefix plus plus is right to left while on the other hand associativity of postfix plus plus is left to the right so let's just quickly recap our today's video First we see the while loop, uh, while loop is control flow statement that allow code to be executed rapidly based on given boolean condition. Uh, then we saw the syntax of while loop which is the while keyword then condition then we have the uh, loop statement body. Uh, next we saw the flow chart for while loop. In this case we uh, uh, ch uh, check the condition if the condition is true then we turn uh, run the statement body and if the condition is false then we exit the uh, control loop then we saw the example of uh, while loop then we saw do while loop in case of do while loop uh, is that uh, a condition uh, is that it's check for condition after executing the statement and therefore it's an uh, example of exit control loop uh, the uh, interviewer can ask you uh, which loop in C++ known as exit control loop so the answer will be do while loop uh, next we saw the syntax of do while loop which was the of course keyword uh, which is do then we have the statement 
before the condition and at last we have our condition uh, then we saw the flow chart for do while loop it is it will start and uh, directly after starting the program it will run the statement at least once then it will check the condition if the condition is true it will again run the statement and if the condition is false it will end the program then we saw the difference between prefix and postfix uh, uh, you can uh, get one one example for both uh, or uh, definition I mean if the operators are before the operands then it is a prefix and if the operator are after the operands uh, then it's a postfix the associative of prefix is right to left while the associativity of postfix is left to right so that's all from today's tutorial hope you find this video helpful and don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel thanks